Hello everyone, thanks for joining us and welcome to the Bob Simmons Show. Well, the Cowboys dropped to 7-3 and three on the year after losing their final home game of the season to the Texas Tech Red Raiders. And with me, of course, in studio, the head coach of Oklahoma State Cowboy Football, Bob Simmons. And uh, coach, every dog has his day, but uh, uh, Saturday wasn't our day. It wasn't our day, Paul. We uh, uh, really had a lot to play for, uh, thought that we would come out and play well. Uh, in front of a, a real good home crowd. That was a, uh, it was good to see the fans turn out for us and, and thought that we would really come out and respond and play well. But uh, uh, this past Saturday was probably was not one of the better uh, uh, chances that the, 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 the better ways that the Cowboys look. Well, let's get to the highlights. It uh, wasn't the most memorable performance of the season, that, that, that's for certain, but it was a big day. A cold crowd, a cold, cold crowd in the stands. It was senior day as we say goodbye to 10 Oklahoma State seniors. Six of these guys have been around for the duration, Coach. I know that's a number you're hoping to build on. Absolutely. These, these seniors, and as you can see their names on the screen, have done a great job, and we really wanted to go out and play well for them. This is the first drive, the first series to start running an option play, and, and uh, I got about three or four yards. You come back with an inside play to a fullback. And uh, right now, Texas Tech is really controlling the line of scrimmage. And we're, we're trying to fight and claw for three or four yards. We go three and out. Uh, we punt it. Uh, and then this is not one of Jason's better punts, although he averages about 45 yards in this game. We come back and we go on defense. And I thought early on our defense responded and played pretty well. Got a little bit of pressure there. and. and uh, uh, good coverage. Good there. coverage. Zephy throws the ball into the ground. Then they come back and run the play. And this is a uh, good inside linebacker play in, in the initial part of the game. Good defensive line play. Guys are flying around. And he has a good play by Courtney Mallory. And he's got two and three guys around the ball carry. Uh, they, they come back. We got to, uh, they throw a screen again. We got to make these open field tackles. Uh, we wasn't sharp tackling, but uh, we force them out and we force them to punt three and out and we get the ball and go back to work right back on uh, on offense. Well, the defense does do a fine job. Three and out, they punt away, and we see R.W. McCord's 11-yard return, and the Cowboys set up shop at their own 30, and it seemed like old times. We came out and took control of the line yeah, of scrimmage. Well, I tell you, our offense, this second series came out and really did a job of, of pounding inside. Nathan does a nice job of, of getting uh, four and five yards of crack, put us in great situation here, and, and uh, uh, now we uh, but here was the problem. third Illegal down procedure. situation. Well, and, and it hurt us really most of the ball game. It, it, it really uh, threw us off with, uh, we had about four or five penalties of that nature, which really hurts us. But our offense goes back and we're running hard inside. That's our fullback doing a good job. We go back to our tailback, nice cut by our tailback. He picks up about five yards and you can see they got about four or five guys on the tackle. We come back and we do throw a slip screen here to, uh, to RW and he makes a nice uh, run over here and picks up about 15 yards, keeps that drive alive, and uh, anytime you put the ball in his hands, he can make some exciting things happen. Key play third and 10 and, and an 18-yard pickup there on the slip screen to RW. First down for the Cowboys, but uh, we have a sack, and now on second and 20, Lindsey running the option. He runs the option, and he actually gets, a, uh, I think, a face mask penalty there, which keeps his drive alive. And Now he throws uh, to Dante, and, and the ball actually sails on him here, and, and uh, he throws his first interception, one of uh, probably three or four turnovers that we did have. Uh, now they go back and you see they're driving down uh, on our defense and they get, we lose outside containment. That's a, a, a call by the officials. It really, anytime you get a 15 yard personal foul like that, it really hurts the defense. But our defense stiffens uh, and really holds tight in there, two and three guys around the, the pile. This is a, a better job of our defense controlling the line of scrimmage. Uh, third down situation, we force a scramble here and they really come up short. And actually a pretty good job of our defense. Uh, they settled for three points and at that point it's three to nothing. And, and uh, uh, it's a game that we're, we're, in, we're in and we're in control and we're playing pretty decent. We're back on defense here and they start moving the ball uh, uh, it, uh, with inside outside plays. This is, this is actually a pretty good play by Ultimate I think Weaver, Alton Brandon Weaver mm -hmm. underneath and Brandon Ashley and then shows up and uh, uh, and that's what we want to try to do all the time, Paul, is really play solid and sound defense. Uh, this is a nice throw, and, and, and this is really a third down situation, but you can see we come in and hit the guy right there, uh, and they call a personal foul, and that penalty right there mm -hmm. actually keeps the drive alive. And, and well, now what we're doing is actually hurting ourselves. Now we, we jump off sides, which puts them in a first and five situation. Two plays, we Two give plays. them 20 Two yards plays, on 20 this yards, and, and, uh, 
we're really hurting ourselves. They get down on the goal line here and they punch it in. And, and again, you can't have those types of penalties that, that put your defense in bad shape. We come back in with Chris, and Chris throws a nice strike here, 14 yard strike here. I think he throws at the Willie Grissom. Yeah, it is a 14 yard pass completion to Willie Grissom on the slant. And, you know, Willie and Sean Love have both stepped up their games, it seems like. Well, I, I think our receiver cores in general have really stepped up and played well. And again, now you see our offense do a nice job of there coming off the ball. This was a blitzing defense, and, and uh, we felt that uh, our offensive line at times did a good job. It wasn't consistent enough. Forced another three and out here, and uh, we just happened to kick this ball in the end zone, and now we're going back to play defense again. And, and they come out and start running inside. Better tackle, much better tackle by, uh, I think that's Kenyatta Wright. Uh, and when our defense plays sound and, and, and the, our guys are in the right place, that's the kind of defense that our coaches want. Uh, most of the time and this is just a, uh, a really miscommunication where in our coverages that we, we, we don't drop right and consequently uh, uh, we end up coming up with uh, I think that's the third down situation where they actually come up short this is a better play defensively they come out with a different formation uh, we adjust uh, we make plays happen they go in at the half at 10 to nothing this is a ball game that's still winnable and we go in and really talk about trying to come back out the second half and play a better second half. Not the most sparkling first two quarters, but it is only a 10 to nothing football game, and that brings us to the end of the first half. As we go to break, let's take a look at some of the OSU senior class. Welcome back to the Bob Simmons Show. Well, Coach, it wasn't the most sharp of first half performances, but it is only a 10 nothing football game. What was the attitude of the half? Well, the, the attitude in the half, we just talked about making adjustments uh, offensive and defensive and coming out playing with a lot more intensity than we did in the first half. Uh, we knew that uh, we had to come out on defense first and really try to go three and out and then get our offense going. Well, let's take a look at those second half highlights. As you said, Texas Tech had deferred after winning the toss, and they get the ball to start the second half. We see the Cowboys breaking out on the field, excited, and the fans certainly still in the game. And Texas Tech taking over on the 42-yard line here midway through the third quarter and an incomplete pass by Leftwich. Yeah, we, uh, we came out, and really what happened, Paul, is that uh, they had a big pass play on us. And, and again, uh, I give our defense credit. We, we got to the 40-yard line, and we had to get them stopped. And, made sure that it did not have momentum and, and our defense actually stepped up at that point uh, and really came up and, and went out three plays and forced them in the punt. That was all the we played a pretty good ball game and uh, again it forced, uh, uh, forced them to throw the ball and uh, put them in a punting situation which was the first drive which is really what we wanted to do. We should have probably fielded that punt right there because it rolled down to the three yard line. Now. Our offense has got to do a good job of getting out the hole. That's a good aggressive run by Nathan or tailback inside. And this is one of Tony Lindsay's better run. If he doesn't slip down there, he's going to go a long way. And that was really what was happening all day. We were almost. This is a nice inside run by Nathan. But our biggest thing that our offense is playing with a little bit more inspiration. We're moving the ball. Nice cut. We're getting four and five yards of crack. And, uh, uh, Nice inside run here, and I think that's, again, we motion come up penalty. with a motion penalty. Well, we go right back to the ground, and he makes a, a nice cut there, and you know, we end up getting about four yards to go to a pass play here, and nice throw to, to Grissom for a first down, and so now we're really starting to click, and, and things are seem to work. He'll go back to our fullback play and pick up about three or four yards and go back inside. Uh, with uh, this is Jamal Fobbs. So Coach, yeah, we're actually moving the ball. A key play here, third and one, and we have a motion, moves it back to third and six. And here we go with Tony Lynch. Here we Lins go with Tony Lynch on the quarterback play, and we talk about ball security here. Uh, and he's got to put that ball away. The way he's carrying it, and all he did was reach out and really slap the ball away. And that really causes another turnover. We go back but on After the, the turnover, the defense stiffens again. Stiffens up, and this is really a blown assignment. Uh, the thing that we got to do is be assigned it perfect. We got a man assigned to him. He doesn't cover, uh, but we stiffen up down in the, in the red zone area uh, and really come away and force him with three points. It's a nice job of, of uh, Kenyatta Wright getting over there, pushing him out of bounds. On a third down situation, we got to come up with a stop to really force 
a, a field goal. We, we do that, uh, and uh, that's really going in after a turnover and, and, and keeping them in three points, which is a good job by the defense. Yeah, good job by the defense. Getting the ball at midfield, they're only able to come away with three, so it's 13 zip. And now Dante Hill with a pretty handy little return here to give the Cowboys some decent field position. That's a real good return. We go up, we're up the sideline, and, and I think he steps out about the 45, but it gives him a good field position. Uh, this is one to uh, go back inside. We're actually moving the ball at this point. We're still in the ball game. Uh, this is a nice run by Nathan, a five to four yards crack, and uh, this is a, one of his longest run, 24 yards. He's got to keep his feet. He goes straight up yeah. the field. He's going to get more. Uh, but our offensive line and, and the tailbacks are. Uh, Really doing a nice job. Good cut inside. Got to put that ball away, swinging it around here, uh, and then just get upfield for positive yardage. Well, a tough defensive front we were playing against, but Nathan, 21 carries, 99 yards, averaging almost five yards a crack, and here a completion from Lindsey to say. All right, this is our, our 10 man play defense. We're actually missing our fullback in this, <laughs> in this series. Did you put here. that in this week, coach? <laughs> but this is a nice call and nice execution, and nice catch by Stegs. Uh, we're Right now, moving the ball down on, I think we're on the 10-yard line. Got a chance to score here. Uh, and again, we go back inside running. They stiff it up, uh, make some plays. and uh, Illegal good, participation illegal here, participation. Coach five. And look well, not illegal participation, uh, illegal substitution. substitution. We had okay. the 12 men in the huddle. They called it Tony Scrambles. Uh, and again, he chooses to go out of bounds here, uh, and then we have to settle for a field goal. Well, eight play, 61 yard drive, and the Cowboys are on the scoreboard with Tim Sidness' 22 yard field goal, but probably one of the more uh, key plays of the game right here. Yeah, this is uh, really, we're supposed to kick this deep, don't know what happened, but there is a missed tackle there, uh, and now we're really out of position, and this is a, a great execution on, on their part, but uh, we're back in this ball game, and then we have this happen. Special teams always has been something that we talk about executing, and we wasn't very good at this point in time. Then they come back and we don't execute our defense, and when we don't do that, uh, they end up scoring a touchdown on us. Well, after the big kickoff return, gave them uh, the ball at the four-yard line, Tech punches it in, and OSU still not giving up. Plenty of life left in this football game, and a good return here by R.W. McCorders. Nice run. He, he gives us, again, gives us nice field position uh, at the 35, 36-yard line, and uh, now we got to throw the ball a little bit more wide open, and Tony makes a nice throw to uh, Garrett, Garrett Stiggs. Garrett, Garrett Stiggs and, uh, he's doing a good job of throwing the ball. This is a nice catch by Sean Love over the shoulder and on the seven route here. And nice throw and, and nice catch. We're inbounds and we've got some momentum going at this point in time here. Uh, we go back to throw here. We throw another screen uh, to RW and he does a nice job getting about six or seven yards. And we're, we're really trying to get in the end zone here. This is fourth and one uh, and uh, we get too much penetration, give them the ball back and it really uh, shortens our momentum, Paul. But again, the defense comes out here, and I believe Tech makes one first down, but we force them to punt the ball back to us. Good play there, defensively. We do. There's some, our defense did some good things in general. We force a fumble, the ball lays on the ground, and then we don't get it. It was that kind of day. The ball just stayed there, and we were not around the ball. We forced them to punt here, uh, and uh, we're probably one block away from taking this thing all the way. Good cut. He's one block away from r and he's got to stay to the outside, but he averages about 13 yards on that return. We get, go right back on offense, nice throw, inside throw to Sean Love uh, from, uh, from Tony Lindsay, and, uh, but we were just always one play away mm -hmm. from being, uh, having a good uh, series. Well, 14-yard uh, reception there by Sean Love. Lindsey now scrambling out of the pocket and makes a, a great play out of uh, not what looked like was going to be a bad play. Well, I tell you, he gets a first down here. Uh, and uh, Unfortunately, uh, uh, the official, uh, I don't know what he sees here because the guy ran into Sean Love and he called Sean Love for a block, uh, but that was the, the nature. And then we throw back and this is a ball that uh, Stegg should have caught, went through his hands and you know, they're in the right place at the right time, and uh, they scored a touchdown, and uh, this really sealed our faith. Well, the good thing about it, Coach, we're 7-3. and three. It was only one ball game, yes. and now we're down to a two-game season. We have a, a, a game next week on the road against Baylor, and then a bowl game, and an opportunity for this team to go 9-3. and three. Not bad turnaround in not, three not years. Not bad turnaround, Paul. There, there are some uh, positive things that has happened to this football team this season, and we got one game left, and uh, we want to finish up on a positive note, and we're going to go in and, and do our best this week to come out with victory down in Baylor and then look forward to playing in the bowl game.
Well, speaking of positive things, as we go to break, let's take a look at some more of the seniors that have helped in the rebirth of OSU football. Drill sponsored by Farm Credit for Ag for Life. Welcome back to the Bob Simmons Show. This week on TD's Two Minute Drill, Tom and Wade Pearson give us an update on our injured All American Alonzo Mays. <laughs> You have never been a cheerleader in terms of standing on the sideline just urging people on, but that's basically the role you've been relegated to now, isn't it? Yes, it truly is. I, before I can start cheerleading, I got to see and learn what's really going on before I can give my, my true thoughts on the situation. So right now, I'm just there and being a, being a listening ear to both, both players and coaches because I've been out there and I know what they're talking about and the players know what I'm talking about and they sing and they can relate. So. It's just a real awkward situation for me, really. Obviously, this decision to have surgery came after many hours of discussion. Is that the only way this could have been healed? Yes, it is. The uh, only way it could be healed for me, because I want to come in the way I left the game, and that was healthy. And yes, this is the best way for me to uh, be successful later on and be healthy. How will all this affect your NFL evaluation? Do you know? Honestly, I do not know the answer to that. Only those who's in that situation answer that can give that answer. And that's the 30 teams that's out there right now. So I'm just a. I'm on the outside trying to look in. Will the rehabilitation slow your efforts to, to be in shape by the time that comes around? Uh, I believe not. Uh, if I go in there with a level head and a strong confidence and a nice will to accomplish the goal of getting, uh, getting my strength back up to par, things should change up and should perk up for me and shouldn't change at all. Though. What will you take away from Oklahoma State, your stay in Stillwater? What will be your fond memory or memories? Honestly, it's a, it's a storybook full of them, so I really have no particular one. But the one that really just uh, stands out in my head is when we finally beat OU. How do you want fans to remember Alonzo Mays? Remember me for who I am and for what I've done. That's the only way you can remember a person, period. That was to the point. Remember me for who I am and for what I've done. and. Uh, He's met and done a lot for Oklahoma State, and uh, we hope that he comes back for the bowl game, but if not, we understand, and we wish him well, and he's been a big part of our success. Thanks, Coach. As we go to break, let's take one last look at some of the OSU seniors. Welcome back to the Bob Simmons Show. Well, Coach, the 97 football season is winding down to an end, so let's take a look at the uh, Big 12 standings. Of course, the South Division, uh, A&M wrapped up the Big 12 South Championship this last week with their win over Oklahoma, and yeah. they'll be playing Nebraska. I'm not sure if that's a reward or not. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, A&M really played good down the stretch, and, uh, you know, if the win this thing, you have to play good down the stretch. And, Unfortunately for us, we, we were uh, really a little bit inconsistent, but uh, we still got a good season going. And uh, you see we have Baylor coming up just next weekend, and that's the most important game for us. Well, Coach, uh, interesting, uh, hasn't had much of a series with Baylor really over the last 15 years, but last year winding up the season, 37-17, a big win over Baylor. I know you'll want to finish on a good note and, and finish 8-3 and the regular season. Absolutely, and uh, that's the most important thing for us is, is Paul, that we have a good season going, and, and uh, uh, that's going to be a game that's going to be on ABC, and, and so it's important that – uh, we play well and really finish up on a positive note. It will be a good game. Got that, that one and one more, the bowl game at the end of the year. Folks, we want to thank you for joining us and remind you, 2.30 kickoff on ABC. If you can't make the trip, make sure and tune it in. OSU and the Baylor Bears, the final regular season game of the 97 football season. Again, thanks for joining us. We'll see you again next week on the Bob Simmons Show. Good night.